Hello everyone. I'm Sonali Kanade, Assistant Professor of uh, AIDS Department in AISMS IOIT Pune. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, levels of software testing. These are the four uh, levels. <coughs> These are the four levels. First is uh, the uh, unit the, uh, unit testing. Uh, that is also called as compound testing. Next is integration testing. Then uh, third one is system testing and fourth one is acceptance test, user acceptance testing. Then first of all, first is the unit testing. These uh, are the uh, example of unit testing. So first of all, what is meant by unit testing? The In this testing, the main project is divided into number of main modules and each main module is again divided into small programs or sub uh, small sub uh, sub modules this uh, the testing of each small program is called as unit and the testing of each small program is called as unit so uh, unit testing is done on individual units or uh, compo components of software so the purpose of unit testing is to test correctness <coughs> correctness of individual unit and the unit testing is done during the development, that is the coding phase, of an application by the developer. So this is the example of unit testing. In this testing, different functions, methods, loops, statement are uh, divided into uh, are divided by developer. So a unit may be uh, an individual function, method, procedure, module, or object. Unit testing is first level of uh, testing done before the integration testing. So unit testing is a white box testing and <clears throat> white box testing technique that is usually performed by the developer. So through in practical world, a uh, QA engineer that is tester uh, also do the unit testing on application. So uh, unit test helps to fix the bugs early in the development cycle. Then next is the uh, integration testing. <laughs> so before that, uh, we will start the uh, integration testing. Uh, the unit testing having three types. First one is the statement coverage. The next is the decision coverage. And uh, last one is the branch coverage. So these are the types of uh, unit testing. Then next is the integration testing. Integration testing, uh, once the unit testing is get completed, the next stage is integration testing. The units or components are integrated in a single module and then test to check communication between these components. So it is the combination, uh, it is the combination of uh, different unit tested modules. So in integration testing, unit tested modules are connected together logically as well as uh, logically or physically uh, as tested as a group. So this is the uh, uh, this diagram shows that uh, different unit tested models are integrated together. And again, combine after combination of one module is get created. The main aim of uh, integration testing is to check the intercommunication and interdependency of uh, individual module. Then integration testing is performed by developer. And then. Uh, through a practical word, QA engineer, that is mean by tester, also do the integration testing on application to reduce <laughs> reduce risk in system testing. So time sometimes uh, modules uh, communicate with third party APIs or tools. So it is necessary to test uh, test that data accepted by the uh, by the tool API is correct and generates expected response or not. Then uh, these are <clears throat> the integration testing having three types also. First one is the big bank approach. The next is the top down approach. And uh, last one is the bottom up approach. Uh, so in uh, top down approach and bottom up approach, top down approach also called as uh, stop. That is the higher level is uh, level module is get completed, but lower level module is not get completed. So uh, we use the dummy program and this dummy program is called as uh, stub. Stub is also used when the lower level module are needed, but uh, are 
uh, but are unavailable uh, uh, are unavailable currently so stub is used when uh, down module is not ready now uh, so it reduce the unless delay and uh, uh, unless delay also stub is also known as uh, call program for example <coughs> sign up page and login module so sign up page is the top module and log login page is the down module or uh, bottom module so if a uh, sign up page uh, sign up module is get ready but login module is under process then login module is replaced by a dummy program called as stub so then next is the bottom up approach in bottom up approach low level module are tested first and then high level module is tested then uh, integration of two models take place and test the functionality as a unit. So uh, in this example, uh, this dummy uh, high level, lower level model is get completed, but higher level model is not get completed. That time we use the dummy program and this dummy program is called as driver. Driver are used when higher level model are needed, but are unavailable currently. So driver reduce the unless delay in testing and make the testing process faster. So driver is also known as uh, calling program. In in top down approach, we use stop, and this is also called as call program. And in bottom up approach, we use uh, driver, and this is also called as calling program. So in this, for example, uh, sign up page and login module also. Sign up page is the low, uh, sorry, uh, is the top module and login uh, is the uh, down module. So login module is uh, ready and sign up module is under process. Then sign up module is replaced by dummy program called as driver. So these are the concept of integration testing. Then next is the System testing. System testing is the third level of software testing. In uh, the uh, third level of uh, software testing, so which is used to test the application uh, functional as well as the uh, non-functional requirements. It is also called as end-to-end -end testing. Uh, in this testing, uh, it will be test the application as a whole system. System testing means to check the end-to-end -end flow of each and every functionality in an application. So here we check that uh, each and every functionality work as a client requirement or not. So there are two types, uh, functional testing and uh, non-functional testing. <coughs> so last one is the acceptance testing. Uh, what is mean by acceptance testing? It is a last level of testing and it is also called as user acceptance testing. So this testing is done by client itself or done by tester in front of client. Uh, it increases the satisfaction of client as he is a part of testing. It gives assurance to client and application covers the entire requirement given by him or her. Uh, as the software has passed through three testing levels, unit testing, integration testing and system testing, some minor errors can still be identified at this level of testing. It is uh, conducted by client before accepting the uh, end product or final product or application. Then there are two types of um, user acceptance testing. First one is the alpha testing and next is the beta testing. Uh, these are the two types of ac uh, acceptance testing. So thank you.